Hi, welcome to this MRMC video on Polymotion Chat, which is an automated camera tracking solution mainly used for broadcast applications. In this case, we're actually using the standard broadcast camera, so we're just using a normal box camera with a lens on, and this is the AFC 100, so this is actually the slip ring version, so it can actually completely rotate 360 degrees. And all we need to do here really is plug in the video, the lens control, the power, and the ethernet, and everything else is controlled by the server. Polymotion Chat can be used in a number of different environments. Uh, you can use it into a small studio environment. You could also deploy this for news gathering, so an SNG truck. In this case, we're running it in a presentation format. As you can see, the camera is actually going to be following me around. It's completely automated. If I was to kind of move down slightly, you'll see that it tilts as well. In terms of how many cameras I can have, I can actually have up to six cameras tracking me at all times. They can all be positioned in different places and they can have different zoom levels, different focus levels, and then they can all work together. This is the main chat UI. So from here, an operator can control all aspects of the system. What you'll see though, is even though it's fully automated, you actually can at any point take over manual control over here with the pan, the tilt, the zoom and the focus. So if chat did do anything the operator doesn't like, they can immediately take control. In terms of setting up the system, I've already set up a preset here. All I need to do is push the start tracking button and then you can see the chat will start following our subject around. So you'll see here that it's actually moving and this green circle is actually where chat is looking for a subject. If anyone moves outside that, it will automatically then follow the head and follow them around there as well. I can adjust the speed of this so I can make it to be quite slow as it is here for a kind of a natural camera movement or I can make it extremely fast for very, very fast cuts. So with Polymotion Chat, as I said, can be used whether it's in a studio environment or whether it's in news or whether it's in like this with a presentation. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how to set up some of the key preset moves and you can see how the entire system can work. So the presets here, there's actually, there's 10 presets on the screen. These four presets here with the colors on are actually the tracking presets. So they're the ones that would be assigned to make chat actually move. Um, these can then be all changed. So you can have a different picture here. So for example, that could be a top to toe shot as we're doing here. That could be a mid shot, that could be a close up and pretty much however you want to design the screen. So in this case, all you need to do is, is simply arrange the shot you want. So in this case, we're doing a, a top to toe shot. So I can adjust the, the zoom, I can adjust the pan and tilt. I can adjust the zoom here as well and pretty much compose that shot where I want it to be. Also I can move this green circle as reference so if I want the subject to be framed on one side or on the other I can do that and then what I would simply do is push this button here and I can adjust the size of these tracking zones. So as this is quite a wide shot it's quite a small tracking zone and as the subject moves away there it'll actually follow them through on their head. The closer you, you are in obviously you'd need a slightly larger circle if it's a, if it's a tighter shot to then try and capture that head in there. And then once that's all been designed, you'd simply just save the preset, save it as preset one, and then that's it. That is now locked in as a preset. With presets, you can pretty much set up any framing you want, whether you want it to be like a wide shot that we have here, a medium shot, a close up, whether if you're doing a news, you might want to have a close up shot to one side. Pretty much any way that you want to compose your shot, you can either set that up as a preset with or without automatic tracking. So all the main screen here pretty much controls everything you need to control. Obviously, if you've got a bit more details here, you can change your tracking sensitivity, you can change your subject distance, you can change the speed. You could also actually go into a more detailed menu, for example, in the preferences menu here, you can individually control the speed or the pan, the tilt, the focus, the zoom, the iris and the roll, and then you've even got a master control there. Your go-to speed actually defines how quickly those presets will click in. And then in this screen here is actually where you can go to an even greater level of degree and you can actually control the maximum accelerations. Most people won't need these, but there are specific circumstances where you might want to be able to really finely tune the, uh, the pan, the tilt, the focus, just to make sure that you get the shot that you really want. So that's Polymotion Chat. Um, it's very, very easy to deploy. It can be deployed by a very small number of people. You can use pretty much any camera you want, uh, any lens configuration you want. You can have up to six systems that will automatically track you around. And because we're using the MRMC robots in this case, in my case, we're using the AFC 100, we can do slightly unusual shots like a 360 tracking shot. Um, so I hope that's helped you. Hope you've uh, got some information that you can deal with. If you have any other questions, you can visit us at our website or you can just contact your local MRMC representative. And uh, thanks for listening.